Hey guys, it's Kiralis and welcome back everybody to another Minecraft video. Previously, we built these townhouses, these nuts, and they look pretty, pretty snazzy. Like, when you build a few of them in a complex like this, not too shabby, I would say. The like, ambiance is very high in this neighborhood. But anyhow, in today's episode, we're gonna build a small yacht. That's right, it's been a while since I built a boat, and uh, today it's time for a boat. It's designed by Jack's Place, uh, with help from Wilshire on the World of Kiralis server, and it's gonna be placed about here. Yeah, I would build it in water, but we don't really have much water around here, now do we? But don't worry, at the end of the video it's gonna be placed in water, and it's gonna look pretty, pretty amazing. So anywho's anyhow, first block to be placed, it is gonna be light grey hardened clay, and first block, bam, usually we clap the first block. Very cringy, but that's... We've done that for a while. I, I know, I'm sorry. I'm still clapping for reasons unknown. So we have one block here. We're gonna place one, two, three, four, and five in a row like that. Then we're gonna extend it. 16 in total going that direction. So counting with this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, 16, 15, and 16 in total. And then just connect it up to a little rectangle here and fill the space like this. And here is gonna be the front of the boat, the bow. Is it the bow? I think it's the bow. We're gonna place one, two, three. Extend it outwards by one, two, and three. And then just one in the front. So in total, the big shape here is five in width and 16 blocks in length. Three here and one here in the front. From above, you should be having this shape. Now using the clay, we're just gonna extend it. Let's start in this corner here on the main shape. Extend it like this. Do the same here and the front. Same on this side, and same here. So from above, it looks something like this. Now, add one extra block on this and one on this side, and take it outwards like that. And take it all the way to the back, and extend it by one block. Do the same on this side. One block here, and take it out all the way, all the way to the back. Like this. Connect those shapes up, and delete the corner pieces. Bam, and bam. From above, it is this shape. And once more, pretty much the same shape. Using the clay, place full block here and take it out. Full block here, take it out. Full block here, take it out. Full block here, take it out. You pretty much get my point, right? It's pretty, pretty easy. And the thing here, we're gonna bring that shape in, but we're gonna stop. So we have three uh, spare blocks here in the far end. So take it out, all the way back, but stop. One, two, and three should be freed up. Do the same on this side. Take it back and leave those three blocks intact from above, you should be having this little shape going on. And on those three spare blocks, in the far here, place a quartz slab on both sides, and then two full blocks of quartz, just to fill up the space, like this. We're also gonna place a slab on the last one here, and here. Then, full blocks of quartz, one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. From the side, we have a little step thing going on. I think you can see it like this. And next, we're gonna continue using white wool or whatever color you prefer. I'm gonna be using the white wool because it's pretty nice on a yacht. And extend it from that course block all the way to the far end here. And take it out by one. And now it begins again. Full block, take it out. 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 And full block, take it out. And then just connect it up like this. Hopefully you guys can see that, but there's four full quartz blocks and the rest is just white wool to the far end here. Now, quartz slabs. Just here when, it, when the wool meets the quartz, so place one on the quartz and one on the wool. Do the same on this side. One on the quartz, one on the wool. And then full box of quartz, one, two, and three. One, two, and three. And white wool, take it all the way to the far end here. Full block and extend it outwards. Full block, extend it outwards. Full blocks, extend it outwards. And the same on this side. It's not that hard, but it's gonna be pretty, pretty amazing. The house of ships are usually like super tricky, but when you get this little shape right, you're good to go. So from the side, it should be looking something like this here on the front. Now we're gonna continue here on the back. I'm gonna be doing some skipping just to make it as easy as possible, I guess. Birchwood slabs, place. One, two, three, four, and five, just above the little last clay shift we kept going and extend it outwards by one, two, three, four, and five, like that. And stop. Here, 
virtual stairs just in the middle like this. Light gray hardened clay. Do this little shape for now. Like this. Take those up. And you might be thinking like, what is going on? There's gonna be a little staircase going down. So just to be, to be on the safe side, bridge stair in the middle, three by two on both sides. The last ones, extend them up like this. Block of quartz, one full here and one here. Here on the top elevation of that quartz, place a quartz slab. It's gonna be a little like safekeeping. You can just keep your stuff in here, I guess. Not gonna be used, but you have to envision and imagine. Then birchwood slabs, one here, one here. Birch staircase, one here and one on this side. So that should cover up that little gap here. Now we can still put our keys and stuff. Well, you don't, maybe you don't need keys. I don't know. Maybe you need, do need keys. I don't know. A block of quartz above this. One, two, and three. So that's going to be a little doorway. So we enter and da-da. Pretty awesome now, isn't it? And also, birchwood slab. One here and one here. So that should be leveled with that little quartz uh, on the outer uh, perimeter of the hull. I think, is this still called a hull up here? Or is that the hull? I just don't know. We're also gonna extend the hull downwards a little bit uh, once it's, the ship is in the water, I think. But for now, it looks something like this. Extend the slab outwards once more and birchwood stairs. One, two, and three. So from above, just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna pause here for a little, little brief moment. It looks something like this, but we can't miss, not doing like Slab on this and slab on that. So that gives you the same shape almost as the outer one, but a little bit higher. So just a little extra detail here from above. If you can see this, lucky you. But it looks something like this. And let's jump down here again. So we have those staircases. We have one, two, three staircases, a slab on this side, a slab on this side. Birchwood slabs, once more, one whole row across the boat like this. Then extend it out here by one slab and one here. And from this angle, Birchwood stairs. One, two, and three to be precise. If we just jump down here, we have this little space. So what this is gonna be, we're gonna be entering the little um, a cavity. <laughs> not a cavity, it's not a cavity in a boat. Maybe it's a cavity. We're gonna enter this little below deck area, okay? And then we're gonna have a room on this side and a room on this side. This might just be an open up bedroom. This might be a toilet. So grab your, your clay and place a perimeter just here, just as, as, as the staircase ends here, up here. Perfect, here. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. So that means we do have those two rooms. So this might be just opened up and we can place a little thing here, which you can enter and it's gonna be a little toilet. So bedroom and a toilet. And here we enter the main ship. Then, virtual planks, full blocks. One and two, one and two and a slab just on top here. So we've got a nice shape here once we enter the bit down below. It's pretty awesome. And also extend it using birchwood slab outwards. So on the top elevation here, one, two, three, and four. So four blocks out from the wall and then just connect it across from side to side. So from the below, from the below, from the from from the from this angle, it looks something like, like this. I say this a lot, but hey, it is what it is. And using birchwood planks, we're gonna put a row across from side to side here. We're gonna start here on the wall. So we get the quartz, and here's the wall. So on the top elevation, five planks just across, and on the top elevation of those, some slabs just across from side to side. It starts raining, hide inside. The perfect storm. <laughs> Love it. And it's gone. So here from above, we have this shape. And we've got the full blocks of planks here, right? So extend them on both sides by one, two, and three. One, two, and three. So they just meet up with the full block of course on the outer perimeter of the yacht. So from above, from this angle, which is the most confusing angle, we have this shape. Now I'm just thinking, what would be the easiest way to do this? You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do this. So here on this line of wool, we're gonna delete the third block and the fifth one. So counting from the front here. So we get one, two, delete the third one, fourth, and delete the fifth one. And place some black stained glass panes in that. Do the same on this side. So delete the third one and the fifth one, just like this. So from the side, just in case, just in case, like this, and that, and this and that. 
Now we're going to be using a lot of course slabs and we're going to start here on the first window from the front and from side to side on top elevation course slabs just across like this. Perfect. I'm going to repeat the same thing here twice. Just like this from side to side. And next is going to be a little bit different because now it's just a matter of covering the hole. So just, just put them. So we have a five here. The next one is three twice and then just one on the front here. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Next, slab here, slab here. A full block, of course, next on both sides like that. And in between those, court stairs. So we have a slab, full block and three stairs. Full block and a slab. So from above, it should be, it's really hard to see with the shaders mod, but hey, just deal with that. And next row is gonna be court slab. In front of that, quartz full block, court stair. Jump away, do the same from this side, court slab on the far end, and a court stair. In between here, we're gonna be using some windows. It's time to play some windows. And I'm gonna be using light gray stained clay because they matches the, the hull type of thing, but you don't have to do that. But one, two, and three, just in the middle. The captain's not gonna be able to see anything, but hey, let's just deal with that. One on this side, just in front of that little uh, court stair, and one on this. Then, full block of courts, and one more on this side. Now we should be, if you've done everything correctly, you should be having two blocks of, uh, of wood, like this. So we're gonna cover them up with some glass as well. So one, two, one, two. Take it down from the ground. One, two, one, two. And now from the side, uh, this is the better side because the sun is shining on this side. You should be having, uh, well, this shape, I guess, right? So we got the full block of quartz. On top of that block of quartz, place a glass on both sides. And next to that, block of quartz. So it looks like this. And now we can take the windows even out further. So one and two, one and two. So from the inside, the shape looks quartz down here, quartz up here. And then we have this little like window wall. And on the front here, we're not really gonna place them like most people would be like, yeah, just place them here like this. No, 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 no. We're gonna place a block here just a little reference block and place free just across. So you get this nice little shape going on here. So from the inside, the captain's gonna be sitting here. He's gonna be having all those instruments and stuff. And uh, it's gonna be pretty, 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 pretty amazing balls. Also here on the front, we're gonna extend the shape a little bit. So grab some court slabs and just in front of that shape with the staircases, place one, two, three, four, and five. And then one, two, and three and stop. And this is just to get some nicer shapes here in the in the bow. Is it bow? I think it's bow. Let's just call it bow. And I'm not talking about little bow wow. Is he still around? I don't know. Bow wow wow EPA EPA. Now we're gonna start making a roof out of this and we're gonna start back here to be precise. We should be having three blocks of course. One, two and three. One, two and three. So on the middle one, place a court stair just like that. On the back of it, an upside down one. On both sides, obviously. Bam. And that should give you this little cute window, mainly for just decoration and detail. And repeat the same shape twice here. So we have one, two, and upside down. One, two, and upside down. On top of the upside down one, a quartz slab on both. So from the side, you should be having that. Two staircases and a slab. Then connect a full block of quartz on the top one here both sides, take it out by a cord slab and take it up. Take it out by a cord slab on the top elevation and take it up and take it up or take it out once more like this. And what you could do now is just connect it from side to side like that and cover up the windows like this and one more here. So one, two and three. So from the side, you should be starting to have a little shape, which is the staircases and a little roof going on here. And from this angle, it looks something like this. So we have the staircase going up. Hey, please be quiet. I'm trying to record here. We got a little staircase going up here, which is not a staircase, but it's just a little support thingy. And uh, I swear, pig, I'm going to beat you to death with something which is not meant to beat you to death. No regrets. It's dead now. I'm sorry. I had to do it. I, I love bacon, but, uh, but, uh, but, I love bacon, yeah, that's right, pig is dead. Uh, so let's just get back here. We have this shape, right? And above those glass, we're just gonna continue placing slabs. So just on top of them, one and two, and take it out by one. So one and two, and take it out by one. And then just cover up the gap here in between. So that means if you jump down here, we should be having glass here, 
on both sides. And we're gonna make a little door just using the LED light gray stained glass panes. So place one, two, and three, one, two, and three, and then just bend them outwards. So if you've done everything correctly, this is how it should look. And here on the inside, we can even place some uh, court stairs, which is gonna be representing the seats for the captain and whatnot. Perfect. Next is gonna be a little bit tricky icky. We're gonna start here on the roof, and it's a little bit hard to see with the shares mod, but it's just here. So we have the, those three uh, quartz slabs here on the front, and in the middle, one block in, place a slab. So that becomes a little full block, right? And then connecting from that, in the middle, place a shape, which is three by three, like this, and one here on the back. So this is what you should be having. A little bit tricky, but hopefully you get it correct. So now, here on the back, this becomes a full block of quartz, right? So extend that by using a full block of quartz once more, like that. On top of that, a quartz slab just on the top elevation. Then from this side, we're gonna start on this block here. Place a slab and a slab. Then a quartz stair, like that. From the side, you should be having this little thing going on. Full block of quartz and an upside down quartz stair in the far end. So now, this is the thing we got going. And off that staircase, on both sides, place some light gray hardened clay. The same as we used in the hull. On both sides, okay? Bam. And on those, on the sides of that, we're gonna add some iron bars. So let me just grab iron bars. I'm also gonna grab some uh, buttons, some stone buttons. We could grab some levers later on as well. But end rods. End rods is the thing, and that should be it. So, on the front of those, place some buttons, and on the side, just place some iron bars. From this side, and from this side. In the middle here, we should be having, should be having this part here, right? This is the middle. We have a staircase here, a staircase here, and a full block. So that is gonna be the middle for us. We're gonna be using some walls, just some cobblestone wall, just some very simple shape. One and two. End rod. And on top of the end rod, shift screen into place an iron bar just like this so that becomes a little antenna up here and the yacht itself is pretty much done from from the outside we're, also, we're gonna purify it a little bit don't worry about it on the back here we're gonna have placed some signs so yeah those signs are gonna be going just here around the perimeter just all the way around and this is where you could have the like the ship name not the ship name just the ship name just here on the middle one because that's gonna look pretty amazing it was kind of semi-realistic as well bam bada beam bada boom and it's coming alive pretty nice there's gonna be two bedrooms down below the deck and that is something we're gonna do super next well not really first of all is some levers and we're gonna place some levers just here we're gonna start here just in between the windows place one and put it down and this is where the boat is kind of anchored what you could do here is take some i guess white clay would work for example and then just have like some some buoys like this so it doesn't scratch up the whole side of the boat when it's docked in a dock so lever Putting downwards just between the windows, one here in the far end of that full block, and one in the middle, which should be here. And what this does is gives us four, four blocks on this side, and that should give us four blocks on this side. So one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Perfect. So once again, one just in between the windows, pointed downwards. One in the far end, and one here in the middle. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Pretty, pretty pretty nice. So this is the shape we got going for the moment being. And just to purify it a little bit, we could play some flower pots. We could have a flower pot here, for example, and one here. We're gonna have a cacti here and a blue orchid just off here. And what goes for the cabins, like driving position type of thing, we could just do, first is first, let's just play some signs here because that looks much nicer and just use some redstone tools like a restaurant repeater. Use the, what's it called? The comparator. We could use some tripwire hooks, a lever, a wooden pleasure plate, for example, and maybe even a stone button or something. So first is first, let's just place the competitor just like this, for example. We can place the rest of the repeater. In between that, we can have a, a pleasure plate, lever from this side, in between here, and tripwire hook, and just a button. Pretty amazing now, isn't it? Well, it's not, it's not really, but it's very simple, but it's gonna work for the, for, the, for the task. And then we can just go up here and we can like, hey, oh my, oh my. That's gonna be pretty snazzy. Also using some wooden buttons, we could place two just on the uh, hardened clay, just here on both sides, just to add some decoration and detail. And once we drop into the ship or the yachts itself, 
there is some space. There is definitely some space to be to be to be to be built on. So here, like you could do those fake beds out of snow. That is like snow caps. You could have the real beds here as well. But let's just say we do three and four for our pillow. So that could be like a come in here. We have a little bed entrance over here, and also doors. Doors do not neglect the doors. Oak door. Place from this side. Go in. Nah, let's just place it from this side like that instead. Looks much nicer from the outside. So perfect, perfect, and perfect. What well, goes for the toilet? Nothing spectacular, everybody. Absolutely nothing spectacular. Let's just grab. Do I have it on my hotbar? No, I don't. Where is the closest court stair? Should be just here. So let's just jump down for the lazy people. Place it here. And then just add a banner. I mean, it doesn't have to be more complicated than this. A white banner, just on there. And there's a little toilet. We don't wash our hands. We can just wash them in the ocean or whatnot. And once we come in here, we don't have, gonna have a door in between those rooms. Let it just be. Here we can have a little couch. So the couch design is gonna be going something like this. A bendy one here, and one which goes like that. And then take it out maybe just to about here. One, two, three. And on the fourth one, uh, bend it and put one here. So that is a little space in between. And here we could just use, uh, not that, the end rods I was thinking about. So let me just get some end rods going. End rod and end rod for the table design. In between there's gonna be a little string and a carpet. So it's gonna be a white carpet just because there's a lot of white stuff going on here. So white, I mean string, and then just white carpet just on top of that. So that's a little like nice looking table. And also like once I got the white carpet in hand, let's just put a white carpet on top of the clay here and here just to match the shapes and it looks pretty awesome. It's not a bad looking yacht. I love it. So far, so good. Let's just jump down here again and let's start purifying. It's going to be a little open up bedroom in the far uh, far front here or the bow. And uh, or the, I, is it called bow still? I don't know. And we're going to have a kitchen. So let's just get that cooking. And we're going to do something really, really simple. I'm going to be using the cracked stone bricks. But if you're using the default texture pack, don't bother because they look horrible in the default texture pack. But I'm using the Vogue flows and they look something like this. So I'm going to place one here. Next to that, I'm going to place a furnace. And the furnace is absolutely loving this resource pack. I just like, look at it, like, beep, 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 beep. It's, it's awesome. Above that, we did pleasure plates. Cracked stone bricks. And here I'm going to just place a quartz stair facing inwards. And this is going to be representing the sink. <laughs> Simple? <laughs> I think so. And then one more cracked stone bricks like that. And uh, we could place some signs on them. Maybe just on the cracked stone bricks like that, just to make it look like thing. We're going to place a little tripwire hook there. And flower pot. Blorch it. Like, look how simple this is. This looks super simple, but it still still works. And also, let me just grab a birchwood slab, because here is going to be a little stair going up to another elevation. Because what we're going to do here is a little bedroom, and it's also going to have some doors included here. So let's just fill the whole space in here with the, with the gray stained clay, like this. Just going to pause here for a second so you guys can catch up, just in case. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab this black stained glass pane, and here I'm just going to place three like this, same on this side. And then I'm going to just place one more row and curve those bottom ones just like that. We can even place one here in the middle, one across, just to make it a little like shabby, shabby door entrance. But it's still going to work because it's going to give you some privacy. Ooh, what's going on? Oh no, it's raining. To go all downfall, and I know there's mods for this or commands which disables it, but I just think still it looks pretty that nice when it rains. It was especially like having a shaders mod on. Um, so yeah, so we got a little simple door, nothing spectacular, but still gives us some privacy. You can close it, and uh, yeah, it's glass. You can see through, but but just envision that this is kind of like blocked off. Uh, you can't you can see from this side, but you can't see in. Type of situation going on, okay? And now this is all in the eye beholder. What I would do here, like we do have space, we can delete some blocks here in the far end, maybe not that one, not that one, we can delete those at least. So uh, that always makes a little, little extra space for something. What I would do here, I would just cover this up, make it look nice like that, for example. Here I would take it out like that, the clay, just in the middle, and I would also grab some of the cracked stone bricks maybe in this scenario. Take those wool up here, crack stone bricks here, here and there. And what I would be using here, I think I would go for hmm, glowstone. Gl glowstone lamp maybe even, or just glowstone. Let's just use glowstone. Place them two like that. And in front of that, we can even use some paints. We can even, I think we can even use the black ones. 
let me just see here. That's a cozy little light. And for the moment, let it be. In this, I'm just going to place a blue orchid. <laughs> you can use whatever you prefer, okay? I'm just going to use the blue orchids. And also, I think, no, we can't place any end rods here. But what we could do, I'm just going to grab some snow caps. And here I'm going to place one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. And maybe just three for the bed. And take it out by two. Yeah, I mean... Minecraft characters are not that big, so that should be plenty enough. And that's about it. We don't have to have much more. What we could do is, I guess we could play some chests for storage. If you're playing this on survival, if you're having this boat like in the ocean or something, or in a river or whatnot, and uh, using this as a survival base or something, you can just place this here. This can be open because there's a slab on top, so we could just do chests like that. And then you have some possibility of storage, and you can place just a normal bed here, here in between, just in case. Please just use your imagination, I guess. And here we could delete this and we can place a, a window, maybe even. Might not look as pretty from the outside, but it's going to let some light in on the bed. So there's huge possibilities. Like, I mean, this could be so expensive. We can place carpets. We can just make everything amazing and great again. But I'm going to keep it as it is. This yacht is, is, is completed, everybody. Yeah, see, I mean... It doesn't look that pretty. I guess, I guess, I guess a trapdoor, an iron one even would work. Not that you can open it, but it definitely will let some light in. I guess, yeah, it will, right? Let me just go down here and check it out. Sure does, there we go. There's a little light stream. And I guess what we could do, we could place a, place a lever in a survival scenario. No, we can't. Crapper, crap, 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 but it doesn't matter. It's going to let some light in, and we can even delete more just if we want it and have like a double window here in the front, like that. Little hatch. Everybody, this is pretty much done. What a fantastic little yacht. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and as promised in the beginning, we're going to move this into water and just check it out how it looks in the water, because, um, yeah, it doesn't look pretty on land. Well, it does look pretty, but not as pretty. And I think what we're going to do, once it's water, we're just going to extend the, the hull a little bit downwards. So I'm going to do that off camera. BRB. Bam, bada, beam, bada, boom. You might be wondering, where is this boat now? It just arrived in Venice. Ciao, ciao, Italia. This is a fantastic place. I did an inspiration episode on this. Uh, it's made by Edu Edu. And there's going to be a link to that episode in the description. And also the link for the download of this map. It's just a fantastic place. I've been to Venice in real life. And walking about this place was just breathtaking and amazing. This is the pigeon square. All those angry pigeons are here the square i remember those but anyhow so let's just get back to the yacht so uh, it looks something like this in the water line or in the water so the water line goes just just to those buttons and below i did a little extension here just in the middle like three blocks in the middle and just one in the front you can even do whatever you want you can even take it down more you can add motors in the back here like uh, some iron blocks and end rods and whatnot i'm not gonna do that but um Having this on a survival, that would be kind of cool, just having a little, like, home base on a boat. But anyhow, look at that, we can just sit here. Just watch the piazza over there. We can just go down below deck. You can take a nap. Take some square dumps. And you know what we could do? Bam! We can make more windows, you can just take a dump and you can just... Like, I mean, what a, what a fantastic looking scenery here. So the possibilities are endless. We can do one here, we can do one here, for example, just on the waterline. Huh, not too shabby, but anyhow, you can make yourself a meal, you can just sit down and chill, you can go here and sleep. And also what I did, I did extend those trapdoors by one more. So now it goes all the way there, and look at the line it makes on the bed. Fabulous, 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 I, I like it. So anyhow, everybody, if you build this, do tweet me a picture, there's going to be a link to my Twitter in the description, and... Uh, Hit the like button, it means the world to me, and leave some nice feedback in the comment section below this video as well. Until next time, Kiralis, over and out, have a very, very, very nice day, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video of something. We're gonna build, I guess, I don't know. Have a nice day, bye everybody. So I was just making a thumbnail, and look at this shader pack. It is called, let me just see here, Shaders. Continuum. This is the low ultra. I have, I'm having such a bad FPS in this even, like on low ultra. But holy crap, it's an amazing shitter pack. Look at the water waves.
Like, uh, this looks super realistic. And even how the ship looks from below. And you get the Zeus kind of effect when you go up and it's light and it just takes a little while until your eyes adjust. This is incredible. Everybody, once again, sorry. Thank you so much for watching and have a very nice day. Once again, there's a lot of nice days here. <laughs> See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.